right, this right here is a very unique tomatilla. This is about to be ripe and it's about to fall onto the ground. This is a tomatilla called Queen of Melanalco. Now this variety, check this out. This variety until recently was almost unknown to the rest of the world. It's a unique and delicious heirloom treasure from the mystical town of Melanalco. It's in the southwest of Mexico. Now the story has it that the botanical explorer Joe Simcox searched high and low for the fabled Queen of Melanalco Tomatilla, revered for its extra large fruit that have a sweet, almost fruity flavor. This unbelievable, beautiful fruit is completely sheathed in a papery husk. Now this fruit grows up to four inches long and the plants are very productive. The fruit is used to make salsas, it can also be cooked like a tomato, or simply eaten fresh. Now note also that you need more than one plant to set fruit for cross-pollinization. Now you open it up, and there's the fruit. And I'm going to show you what I harvested. Now these are going to just drop right down to the ground. And uh, I, I think that might be a uh, will signal when they're ripe. And um, I'll show you a whole basket that I just picked. Now here is the basket of the tomatillas. And you can see they get pretty big. They get that really nice color. They're very sticky to touch. And this, I opened up one. And this is what the center inside is going to look like. Now I'm going to harvest these seeds to sell. And they're in high demand, but this is a whole uh, basket that I just picked. And look at the size of these guys. Here's that husk that I was talking about. Look at the yellow jackets want to eat them up already. So that is the the harvest. And that's what they look like. Now the plants are totally loaded. Here's some smaller ones that are forming. And as you can see, they're totally loaded with flowers and fruit. That's the flower on it. And then it turns in to the fruit. Well there you go, there's the tasty little gems. And maybe, since I'm not used to them, you gotta acquire a taste. But they might be worth a try. They're very rare. Like I said, they're very sticky. And I guess when you use them, you might use more of the outside flesh than the inside pulp with the seeds. I don't know, I don't eat them. But maybe you would like to try them. And uh, like the most important part is plant more than one plant because it does need cross-pollinization. So you need more than one to get the fruit. And they're totally loaded, so why don't you try some? All right, I tried the little bite off that tip of it, and it is got a sweet flavor to it, but it's just got an unusual flavor that I've never tasted before. So I can't judge them. I just grow them. And if you want, buy some seeds. Try it for yourself, see what they taste like. Maybe if you cook them, they'll be different. So, they're loaded with seeds though, you can see that in the inside. And I'll be harvesting them now, so you can buy them.